There's a lot of quotes trying to make you feel good about failing, something along the lines of those who don't fail don't do, or if you do something, then you're about to fail. In any case, that doesn't make failing any easier. And in this week video, I wanna share with you a failure from my last week, which made me feel really, really bad. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Wins and Fail where I share my weekly learnings and struggles as an entrepreneur building their business. And I wanna share a story about last week where I've ended up wasting hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars uh, in vain. And not only that, even kind of breaking the trust between me and my prospects who are possibly were about to become customers, but now maybe not anymore. So here's what happened. Basically, the way that my business is structured right now is that people are signing up for a free webinar that I'm hosting about using Webflow. I have an online course teaching designers how to use Webflow. And at the end, um, they, they see an offer for my course and some of them buy, some of them don't buy. And basically what I do is I try to focus all my efforts and all the paid ads that I'm doing as well in trying to get people to register for that free webinar. Now, last week, as I was trying to work and improve the way that you know, the system and structures and email sequences work, I made a change to the campaign of the, the, the email automation that happens. So basically what happens is when people sign up for the webinar, they're getting an email confirmation and then a, li a link to the webinar with the time that they signed up for and then kind of a follow-up email sequence. And I've kind of changed, <laughs> I was trying to improve the emails, but when I changed the trigger to the campaign, I didn't notice just before the weekend, I made a change and I eventually, what happened was I, I changed the trigger into something that wasn't triggering. So basically I went out for a long weekend. It was kind of Independence Day here in Israel last week. So it was a long weekend. Just before the weekend, I broken the system um, that's registering people to my my free webinar and people were not getting any emails. And I didn't even know this, you know, cause I did save, publish, went home for a long weekend and I didn't know about this. And there's like, you know, hundreds of dollars per day in, in paid ads on, on YouTube. You might've seen my ads or on Facebook where I'm you know, leading people into registering for the webinar and people were signing up and they didn't get any email, so they couldn't watch the webinar and they could not hear about you know, my course and, and everything. So eventually, not only I wasted money because people never got the emails, also kind of people were thinking, what is this? I signed up for the thing, now I, I'm not getting this email. Either this person might be scammy or he's not a professional. You know, He said he'll send me an email with a link, nothing showed up, like what is this? This, this doesn't work. If this doesn't work, what, what, you know, what will happen in his course or something like that? I didn't know about this like two days have passed and just like I was, I got an email, uh, a message I think on Instagram with somebody who told me, hey look, I didn't get the email. Um, and I was like, maybe it went into the spam folder, I don't know. And so I just, you know, just, I didn't plan to do this, but on the weekend, just like in the middle of the weekend, I opened up the sequence um, trying to see if the campaign is triggering correctly and I found out that it wasn't triggering for like 48 hours. Literally when I found out this, when I saw this, I was like immediately got this kind of a nausea. Like honestly, I was close to vomiting. The, the, like the physical feeling was pretty, was very intense, I would say. And again, it's not only about the money, it's the feeling that probably hundreds of people considered me non-professional or a failure or something like that. And I remember this, you know, when I had, for example, when I was freelancing and maybe th I was supposed to send a, a proposal to a client and forgot to click the send email on the email, then two days later, the client was like, what's up, where's that proposal? And I was like, I sent this to you just to figure out that you know I did not send it, eventually feeling so stupid. So imagine that feeling might've happened to you, it happened to me multiple times in the past, but that's like multiplied by hundreds of people who I did not send them what I said I was gonna send them and maybe lost the potential to do business with them. So that was like, that was horrible. Obviously I fixed this. I tried to send the email uh, later on, even though I do not know if, if 
people saw this or if they got this or if it made sense because it wasn't for the time that uh, the webinar was scheduled for them. But in any case, the reason where I want to share the story with you is just so you know that, you know, as I'm trying to grow my business and have more customers and, and you know, make more money, the, the scale of the problems and the fuck ups that you do when you fail, and obviously you will fail because, you know, we're human and we make mistakes. The scale of the failures is just getting bigger and bigger. And so, and, and as I said, like the, the feeling inside of you when you make those failures, uh, when you feel like you've lost money and, and letting people down is just incredibly, incredibly hard. And that's, that's the truth of it. So if you are building your business, if you are trying to, you know, grow and, and get bigger projects and, and work with higher scale clients as well, just know that it does not get any easier when you get to to the top or to, you know, working on, on big scale project. It just means that the the, <laughs> the fuck ups are, are much, much bigger. You need to be careful, but you also need to, you know, accept the fact that those things are going to happen and you can't stay you know i try to not let this ruin my my weekend try to get back into it and say that is life those things are going to happen you're going to move past move past that continue to the next client continue to the next job and try not to fuck it with the next person and uh try to do the best hope this was helpful for you in your journey as an entrepreneur and i'll see you in the next video